Hey guys, it's Jessie and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to today's video and today we have my February TBR for 2023 and today is going to be the first in a new TBR series on this channel where I'm basically going to be doing kind of randomly selecting my TBR from like a certain amount of prompts. So I've been doing like regular TBR lists of just all the books I want to read this month and I feel like that's a little bit boring and I want to do something more fun like a bit like a TBR game, a bit like randomly selecting prompts, well basically just randomly selecting prompts it's kind of like more of a challenge um so i have a list of i believe it's 30 31 uh prompts on my phone here of basically um different types of books i can pick and i've got them all in this little uh random kind of color wheel that i can obviously tap and it will randomly pick one so basically i think i'm going to pick about five from this wheel because i do have videos every month of kind of secret tbrs or theme tbrs for reading vlogs and um i will be doing those separately i may include a couple of those books if they do fit these prompts um, but besides that I'm going to be basically everyone picking five books from these random prompts list. I don't know if that makes sense. I know um, like Meg with Books does a TBR Cluedo. I know Riley does like picking out of a jar different prompts. So I wanted to do a fun little randomizer. So I will read out the prompts that we have here for you guys, all 31. Um, I'm only gonna do that in this video because I don't wanna do it at the start of every video. And once it's a series, you guys will probably understand. So the um, these prompts are a mix of ones I found online slash thought of myself um, and they're kind of in no particular order I'm just gonna read them out so we've got a book with a one word title a book with an animal on the cover a five star prediction a book under 300 pages one of my newest books one of my oldest books a Kindle Unlimited book an audiobook a new to me author a book rated over 4.25 stars on Goodreads a book rated less than 3.6 stars on Goodreads a book with over 400 pages a book with white on the cover a book with red on the cover a book with blue on the cover a book by a POC author continuous series a random letter where I'll randomly generate a letter and I'll have to pick a book starting with that letter I've got boyfriend picks where my boyfriend will pick a book off my TBR a book with yellow on the cover a book with pink on the cover a two-word title a three-word title a four-word title a 2022 release a random number so I'll randomly generate a number and then pick that number kind of through my TBR kind of just in the way that I've got them laid out on my shelves at the moment I'm not gonna be including Kindle Unlimited or audiobooks for that one just because I um, am trying to work down my physical TBR this year. Then we've got over 300,000 ratings on Goodreads, under 7,000 rated, a gifted book, uh, which is a book that's been given to me as a gift, um, a book out of my comfort zone, and a library book. So those are all the categories, and I'm not going to double up on anything. So if a book fits two categories, I might choose to say I've picked, I don't know, a book with a one word title, and then a book with over 400 pages. I can kind of swap the one word title that is like over 400 pages if I want to read that one, and then pick a different one that's one word but I'm not going to be doubling up so I'm not going to use that one book for both prompts if that makes sense. I think if in the next month I haven't read all the books on this TBR then I will kind of do a punishment which would be like adding a book on to like next month so I'll do six books instead of five. So without further ado here is the little wheel and I've set it so that I can't basically get repeating results so it's not going to be two of the same prompt in one video but I will be able to get those prompts next month or in future videos. So we're going to spin for the first one. So that's going to be a gifted book. So a book that was given to me as a gift. I'm just trying to look over my TBR. I think I'm going to pull this one. This is Kim Jung, born 1982. I did start this a few weeks ago, but I kind of soft DNF'd it. Um, it just didn't really fit into what I was wanting to read and needed to read for certain videos. Um, but this is still very much high on my TBR. I received this, I believe it was from my cousins for Christmas. It was on my Christmas list and one of my family members got it for me. This is basically a book about feminism, misogyny, set in Korea and it's basically uh, it's basically about uh, a girl born to a mother whose in-laws wanted a boy uh, she has to share a room with her sister while her brother gets a room of her own she's a model employee that gets overlooked for a promotion she starts acting strangely she's depressed mad she's her own woman and she's every woman so really really liking the sound of it and I did enjoy the kind of first part of it when I started to read it it's very much a short book so I definitely think I should get around to it this month so I'm going to be picking this one for the first prompt then doing my second one So that is going to be a book with yellow on the cover. So um, again, I'm just kind of looking through. 
I'm gonna go for this one. This is a flicker in the dark. I am hoping to read this for a video that I'm doing hopefully soon. And obviously, as you can see, we've got yellow on the cover. I need to take off this buy one, get one half price sticker because that is incredibly um, ugly. So obviously, as you can see, there's yellow in the text um, under here and obviously on the title page. So um, there's also like little kind of dots of yellow around so very much yellow on the cover of this one so this is what we're going to be picking for the second prompt this is a thriller that basically follows a girl whose father is a serial killer and then I believe on the anniversary of the killings um, a girl goes missing again so I think it's about whether it's a copycat or whether the father in prison isn't actually the right person but this were ranked very highly in the Goodreads Choice Awards it was also Waterstones thriller of the month for a while it might have been thriller of the year I'm not too sure but definitely was very popular by them and I believe Barnes and Noble as well because I believe they have the same ones I'm not too sure anyway that is book number two then our third prompt is gonna be a book with white on the cover so um just looking through so I'm gonna go for the man who died twice by Richard Osmond um as you can see it basically the majority of this cover is white this is a pretty easy one most books I think have white on the cover but this is the second book in the Thursday Murder Club series I read the first one in January and I gave it four stars I thought it was such a cute cozy mystery and had such a fun time reading it so I really want to kind of crack on with the series obviously this has mainly got blue on it but um, decent amount of white on the cover. I think basically the full cover is white with accents of blue but this is the second book in the series as I mentioned and it's following a group of retirees slash pensioners as they try to solve kind of murder mysteries that have occurred unsolved cold cases. The first book is about a murder that actually happens kind of near their retirement home. This one I believe is something about like a diamond heist or something like that so it sounds very cute um not cute but like fun and i love the characters so they're so cute um like it's a little bit found family it's just a very cute little gang um so yeah very excited to have this as the third book so then for book number four So we have an audiobook. So I know exactly what I'm going to pick for this. This is the next book that I want to read um, as an audiobook, which is going to be The It Girl by Ruth Ware. Um, I've got this on Scribd, which is obviously great. And this is what it looks like here. Again, want to read this for a specific video. So that'd be very, very handy. It's a 17 hour audiobook, which is insane. But it says as the description, because I don't actually know too much about this. Everyone wanted her life, but who took it? It was Hannah who found April's body 10 years ago it was Hannah who didn't question what she saw that day did her testimony put an innocent man in prison she needs to know the truth even if it means questioning her own friends even if it means putting her own life at risk because if the killer wasn't a stranger it was someone she knows so this was Ruth Ware's 2022 release again did well on the Good Reese Choice Awards and um yeah very intrigued by this I've heard good things from booktubers online and as I've said before I want to get more into my kind of thriller girly era so very very excited for this and yeah little fun audiobook so that is going to be book number four. And then our final pick of the month is going to be... A book with blue on the cover. So again, another easy pick for me. This is one I want to read for an upcoming video. So very, very kind of well-timed, very strategic for me. Um, I think I'm gonna pick Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Gillian McAllister. I got this one on Amazon and it's hardback, which was like seven pounds or something. We love a cheap hardback. But this is um, another thriller, again, I want to do a thriller mystery video. I want to get in my thriller mystery era. So um, this basically follows a mother who witnesses her son kill someone, I believe. And then every day she wakes up the day before. And then I believe she starts to wake up like subsequent days before that. And it's basically about her trying to kind of figure out what triggered this and basically put a stop to it. So this sounds very, very um, intriguing. It's very long. I believe it's uh, slightly over 400 pages. So I mean, okay, it looks a lot bigger than it actually is. But yeah, very, very intrigued by this one. This is definitely one I want to read this month. So we've got these four picks and the audiobook. So we've got Kim Jung, born 1982. We've got The Man Who Died Twice by Richard Osmond. We've got A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. We've got Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Gillian McAllister. And then we've also got um, The It Girl by Ruth Webb. So very exciting books and I cannot wait to read these. So I will kind of reassess next month whether I think I've got too many or too little books on this TBR. I'm 
I know it doesn't seem like too many, but obviously I will be reading other books throughout the month, other books for themed videos and things like that. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this challenge. I think it's super fun and I'm super excited for it. So um, I really hope you guys do think it's fun and want to watch along. But yeah, um, I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to give this a like down below, hit subscribe, turn on the bell to turn on a little club, make sure you turn on all notifications, then you'll be notified every single time I post a new video. If you want to watch my other videos, there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well as a load linked up in the cards from earlier. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!